Hello, my name is Carol Shields. I'm from the Ocular Oncology Service at Wills Eye Hospital. Here I am speaking to you from Philadelphia in the Wills Eye Hospital Alumni Society newsroom. I'd like to talk to you about what's going to happen in the next two weeks at the American Academy of Ophthalmology in Las Vegas. We have a big venue from Wills Eye Hospital and the oncology service will be represented at the pre-academy subspecialty day for retina, for pediatric ophthalmology, and for cornea. The retina sub day is entitled Upping the Ante, and there are several speakers from the Wills Retina Service, like Sunir Garg, Rich Kaiser, Alan Ho, and Carl Ruggiello. And I counted at least 10 speakers from Wills Eye Hospital who were ex-residents or ex-fellows. We will be well represented. But the oncology service will be speaking in two venues. I'll be speaking first on, in the imaging uh, section on what tumor, what imaging modality. I'll talk about the uses of OCT, OCT angiography, and even multispectral imaging for intraocular tumors. Jerry Shields will be the moderator for a panel on ocular oncology. He'll lead a discussion regarding the management of choroidal tumors, such as melanoma and metastasis and other simulating conditions. It should be a lot of fun. In the pediatric ophthalmology subday, that's entitled Golden Nuggets of Knowledge. I'll be in the section on retinoblastoma management. That's called boxcars or snake eyes. And I'll talk on new methods of chemotherapy for retinoblastoma, specifically on the topic of intravitreal chemotherapy. Yes, we inject the eyes when they have vitreous seeding, and I'll give our results. I'll also participate in a panel on retinoblastoma management, and I'll be sure to teach them the Will's way for managing retinoblastoma. In the cornea subspecialty day, which is called Show Me the Evidence, Back to Basics and Beyond, we have several speakers from Will's, including Kristen Hammersmith and Chris Rapuano from the cornea service. And then from the oncology service, I'll be speaking on conjunctival primary acquired melanosis, snake eyes for melanoma. I'll talk on the detection of primary acquired melanosis, the risks and prevention of melanosis, and how we currently manage melanosis today. We have several courses in addition to the sub days at the Academy of Ophthalmology, and we'll be working with colleagues and fellows from around the world for example, the first course is on current management of conjunctival tumors. We'll talk about surgical techniques and all the topical therapies like mitomycin C, 5-FU, interferon, my favorite, and photodynamic therapy. The second course we're involved in is called Controversies in Ocular Oncology. This is sure to be an, an exciting section with lots of debate, lots of controversy. Ralph Eagle, Jerry Shields, and I, and a host of other ocular oncologists from around the world will debate on when to use intraarterial chemotherapy and other techniques in ocular oncology. Our third course is retinoblastoma, they live and see. This is a course on bread and butter management of retinoblastoma. But you have to know retinoblastoma management has changed enormously in the past 10 years. For example, what we did in the year 2000 is really not what we do today. You might know that retinoblastoma is the most successfully treated pediatric cancer. There has been amazing success in improvements for retinoblastoma management over the past 10 years. The fourth course is Mystery Retina. In this course, we work with colleagues from New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, and we present mysterious retina cases. This course is always sold out. It's very interactive, well attended by mostly retina people and general ophthalmologists. And personally, this is one of my favorite courses at the Academy. We have great speakers in this course. David Seraf, Rick Spade, Lee Jampal, Bailey Freund, Larry Yanuzzi, Jerry Shields, and I will be there. That's guaranteed to be an exciting course. And then the last course at the Academy that we're represented in is called Retinal Manifestations of Systemic Disease. Our colleague and friend Fernando Aravello from Baltimore has invited a team of speakers 
to speak on various topics, retina topics, that herald systemic diagnoses. Again, this is another sold out course at the Academy, and we'll be speaking on Coates disease and exudative retinopathies in children. So there's so much more going on at the American Academy of Ophthalmology in Las Vegas. I look forward to seeing all of you at the meeting and have a safe trip.